Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Outstanding. Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. Let us begin by explaining power points. You may call them pips for short. Power points are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Every round, you will receive another pip. You can see the number of pips each participant has by looking at the circle around their feet. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left-hand corner, yes? You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. But you only have one pip, so you cannot cast this turn. You will have to pass. You can also use a zero rank spell if you want to save up power pips. Good! You have passed and gained another pip. With two pips, you can now cast the troll spell. Ah, but look! You have drawn another card. Tough. This is an enchantment card. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other cards in your hand. Let me show you. Click on the tough card. And now click on the troll. Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. Now you are back to one pip, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. You will need to pass for two rounds. But wait! There's another way. Let me show you. I've given you a power pip. See? At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Power pips count double, but only for spells in your class. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That means you can cast any second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. One point for the pip, plus two points for the power pip. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Cast it at the puppet now. Outstanding! Now let us look at another type of spell card. A ward can be used to protect you against future attacks. This is a fire ward. When you cast it on someone, it will hang in front of them waiting to be activated. The next incoming fire spell will trigger it. Let me show you. Cast this fire ward upon yourself. Very good! See how this fire ward hangs near your feet? Watch how it can protect you. You see? The Fire Ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. Let's try one more hanging spell. This one is called Ice Blade. Cast it on yourself and see what happens. Charms are the opposite of wards. Wards affect spells that other people cast on you. Charms affect spells that you cast on other people. Cast this frost beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the charm works. You see? Your ice beetle has triggered the ice charm. Now the ice beetle is more powerful. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect. The Aura Spells. Aura Spells affect the target over multiple rounds of combat. For example, the Fire Elf Spell will cost 240 points of fire damage, spread over three rounds. Let's see how it works. Cast a Fire Elf at the Puppet. Now 
watch what happens next round. And again? Excellent! You have defeated him and completed your lesson. I hope you have found our lesson to be most helpful. Good luck, my friend, and see you soon.